What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique Pale Blade. This weapon has a very strong enchantment that does 25 points of frost damage and 50 points of stamina damage to the enemy each time you hit them. And if that wasn't enough, it makes weaker enemies run away from you in terror for 30 seconds, which is plenty of time to slash them in the back. I don't think I need to tell you how powerful this blade is. It actually has a pretty cool story and quest behind it, and I'll also be showing you the location of the ice form shout. This shout is pretty useful. You just use it when you're outnumbered. It will freeze everyone solid for ages, until you attack them a few times, and then they'll unfreeze. But this means that you can fight them one at a time. So to begin this adventure, we must first travel to Frostmere Crypt. It's located in the far north reaches of Skyrim, just southwest from Dawnstar. The quest pretty much starts as soon as you get there. Hello there. What was that? Oh, you've got some friends. So basically we just save her, which we don't really need to do because she's so tanky. It's a pity you can't use her as a follower actually. Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak. Or I'll cut you down where you stand. Um, you can kill her, but there's really no point. You can just ignore her and just say, wait, what's going on here? Oh, I was part of the gang in the ruins here. A friend of mine went crazy and stole the boss's sword. They blamed me for it. Look, I'm done here. Mop the floor with these idiots for all I care. Just get out of my way. Started the pale lady. So we're in snow... Veil of Sanctum now obviously and as soon as you get to the entrance this little event will start which will start the quest for you then just head on inside there should be some um, leveled gauntlets here mine are dwarven I don't know if yours will be dwarven as well but let's just go inside right so inside you're going to find a few health potions and a couple of bandits sitting down I always like listening to NPC conversations because you learn a little bit about the story. Oh, there's three of them. The last one's a mage. I'm just going to take this one's arrows because I might need some later. Right, so if you come inside here, you will find a little entranceway to the right where there's a chest. It has an apprentice level lock, but it shouldn't be too difficult for us. Some gold, um, not nothing really worth taking to be honest. And that is it. So if you come back in here, there's actually a a note that is a bounty for the person that we met outside. Kill, kill easier and Rajar on site. A hundred gold to whoever brings me their heads. And Kai is the um, bandit leader who basically owns this mine. So let's head down further into the mine and see what we can find. This is the door that's going to be the exit out of the dungeon, but we don't need to go that way yet. So we're just going to head through here. So just continue down this walkway. What the hell is that? Why is that person got no is that is she dead? She has no head. What pickpocket? What the fuck? Oh my god! Okay, so I what is it is it dead? What is it? Okay, so apparently my game's a bit bugged. Okay, what the- what's going on? It's detected me. <laughs> what is this? Okay... I don't know... Okay, we're just gonna carry on and ignore that slight glitch. 
So if you pick this door, there's actually a stronghold inside it. Where they keep um, some gold and loot and there's some weapons as well. Which I'll just quickly show you if I can lockpick it. There we go. Um, so there's some weapons here. And there's actually a glass warhammer. So I'm assuming one of these weapons is leveled. And there's some elven boots. And that's it. So it's worth coming in here and having a check. I don't know what this is. What the hell? Clearly my game's a bit glitched or gone a bit haywire. So we'll carry on and hopefully she'll just stay there and do whatever. So if you come in this bedroom here, which is just on the left, there is another chest. And not much in there apparently. And there's also a journal. This is Cairo's log, log which is um, basically explaining what happens to the gang in the cave. So the first week they don't really find anything. And you, you can read it yourself in your, if you're interested. But it's basically just his point of view of the story. What is going on with the combat music? Okay, I want to kill these guys. Get rid of them. There's only two of them, I think. Right. So, if we come into this room here, though, we will find the lady who we met outside, who they're all hunting, Issa's journal. So, if we have a read through this... So, basically, it explains that she left her old gang and found this new gang and decided to join them. But she says a bit about them being complete amateurs. So, she's um, decided to lead the dig. So she um, changes the way everyone works and makes them all run shifts and everything. And it gets, starts to get interesting when they find um, an old tomb. And apparently they find, which is the Pale Lady's tomb, and they disturb her resting place, which is I think the story behind it. And the bandit leader takes the Pale Lady's sword, which is kind of what we're here for. Raja, who is I think a Khajiit, because they were talking about a cat earlier, and that's a Khajiit name. Um, he's been having nightmares the past few days. He, he keeps muttering about the Pale Lady. One of these swamp women who steal children away at night, I think. To think some fool story could turn the toughest bandit I know into some cowering kitten. Frightened of his own shadow, I'm just glad that others didn't see him like this. It's getting worse. He can barely sleep now. Apparently it woke everyone up from screaming. <laughs> He keeps saying that the Pale Lady is coming for us. She's down in the forest, we have to return the sword or she's going to kill us all. Not a chance, the boss hit, The boss clings onto that thing like it was his firstborn. Uh, so she told everyone that he just has a fever and there's actually a note from Rajir here. I don't know how to pronounce his name by the way. <laughs> I, see, I see her in every shadow, hear her voice on every breath of the wind. In my dreams, in my ears, in my mind. The Pale Lady, we have to stop her. Just return the sword and we can shut her away forever. I can take this, I can't take this anymore. I have to do it, I must. So that's why he stole the sword because he was having nightmares about the Pale Lady killing them all. But nothing seems to have happened yet. However, there are some very strange sounds. So we come down here, there's um, what do we have, a fireplace? There's not really much here to be honest. But we need to lower this gangway plank so we can get to the next area of the mine. So let's just open this door here. There's a couple more bandits we can take out. Should be another one mining. There we go. Kill her. There's quite a few coin purses along the way as well. And if we activate this lever, that plank is going to drop down so we have access to that area of the dungeon now. Oh. How does she... Oh, well. Well, if you watched my last video, you know why she didn't see me, because I'm pretty much invisible. <laughs> With my um, sneaking boots, that is. So there's another bandit down there you can take out. Um, there are a lot of pickaxes around this area, so feel free just to grab one. 
think there's one on this table. Yeah, there's one on this table. Because there's a few ores that you can mine further down. Boss been down there too long. Yeah. Well, let's wait a little longer. Then. Then what? So it sounds like the boss is in the tomb still. So there might. Oh my god! I forgot about that trap, but luckily, luckily I have a lot of health. So if you walk down here, there's obviously a trip wire here that activates lots of stones to fall on your head. Like I just demonstrated very well. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to do that because it might kill you. And there is there's an empty chest here, so um, that's got nothing useful in. Sorry. But if we come to the right, you will find a orc mining. So if you take him out, there's actually a um, a silver ore vein there that you can mine. So just continue on into the dungeon, and we're going to Frostmore Depths now. So this is the main boss battle room. And that's the bandit leader, who I think we just heard die. Oh, there he is, you see him. You have to let him die, so make sure you let the pale lady, that ghost thing, finish him off. You can help him, but I s don't help him because otherwise you won't get the sword. So that's the pale lady, and there are a couple of wraiths coming about, so as soon as you attack her, those wraiths will spawn. I think I'm going to one-hit kill her. Blimey. That was an easy fight. It might be worth bringing some anti, um, anti-frost potions with you. If you have any difficulty, that is. Well, usually some more wraith spawn, but um, because I killed her in one hit, I don't think that has happened. So, obviously he's dead. Um, the old bandit leader. So if you search him you will find the Pale Blade, this unique weapon. I think it has a base damage of like 11 or 12, and it's a leveled enchantment, so the higher level you are, the better the enchantment will be. I think level 27 will give you the highest end level of charm in enchantment. So target takes 25 points of frost damage, and 50 points of stamina damage. That's a lot. That's really going to hurt any warriors you come up against. And weaker creatures and people flee for 30 seconds. Which is plenty of time for you just to hack them in the back really. So it's actually one of one of the best enchantments really. I mean, I'll put a link to another video on a um, on another enchantment that I think might might rival this one. But this is... <laughs> pretty damn powerful enchantment it doesn't really get better than that the sword obviously isn't as good as say for example a dragon bone sword but considering that you're doing like this it actually does more damage than the dragon bone sword with its enchantment doing 25 points of frost damage and obviously the stamina um, damage as well which is pretty awesome so grab that for sure so you can return the sword to the plinth, but you've already completed the Pale Lady quest by picking it up, and you can take it back off the plinth. If you do that um, before killing the Pale Lady and saving this guy, then the Pale Lady will just respawn again and try and kill you. She really doesn't want you to take her sword. <laughs> so anyway, there's there's a... Um, don't leave yet, there's a word wall to get up here. And there's some other things I want to show you, some other chests I want to show you quickly that you can find. And this word wall, as I showed you at the start of the video, is going to give you the ice form. I don't know why it says ice ice form, but um, it basically freezes people until you kill them. Or for a long time at least. Um, there's an ebony greatsword, which should be lying here, but it's floating in the air for some reason. It's probably a leveled sword, and there's a boss chest here that you can... Um, there should be a spell tome in there usually, but I don't really need anything in there. So just continue through this door back into the crypt. Now something I just wanted to show you quite quickly was um, the secret chest, which is that is the way to the exit, 
and if you look here there's a pool of water just jump in here come to this corner and there's another chest here I'm not going to waste your time with lockpicking it but you guys can and you can get out on this stone column here so you just jump on here and then you can jump back across to the staircase that was broken and then we can exit the dungeon through here if you want a great shield to go with this blade, I recommend you check out my other video on how to get the very unique Targe of the Blooded. That shield does look pretty insane. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. If you enjoyed the video though, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future Skyrim content. If you have any other questions, you can always chat to me live on Twitch, or even Twitter. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.